All right, everyone, and welcome to today's group break, which is a 12 box mi mixer featuring uh, 2019 Series 1 retail, 2019 20 Series 2 retail, uh, 2019 20 artifacts, and 2019 20 SP game used. Uh, so, yeah, looking forward to the break today. I, again, I just mentioned this, but love opening up retail just because you get the same amount of young guns as hobby, and it's just it's just fun to open it up. You get a lot of value out of it again, which is just fun. Um, for those who are looking for spots for next week, we have two breaks next week. We have a similar one to this in which we're kind of doing the same series one and series two. And then instead of artifacts and SP game use, it's allure and trilogy. So the links in the chat there, if you're watching on YouTube, the link will be in the description. And on the 18th, it'll be the new release, a full uh, case of OPG Platinum 2019-20. I love the look of that. The Sunset Parallels look really cool as well. So that one's in chat as well. Uh, so yeah, anyways, let's hop over and let's get these randoms going and good luck everyone. So here we go. I uh, got a list of names. Thank you everyone again for purchasing a spot. And let's get into the random here and let's go three times on the names and paste them back in once, twice, and thrice, there we go. And uh, duh, 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 duh. let's paste those in there. And uh, we need to go to uh, back to here for teams. Duh, and copy this three times, get to randoms. One, two, and good luck everyone here. Third random. There we go. All right, so we got Brewers on top and Blackhawks at the bottom. Let's see how the cookie crumbles here. And let's paste the teams in. All right, so Mark, you have the Bruins, Sean with the Avalanche, Alex S with, with the Arizona Coyotes, William with the New York Islanders, Arnold with the Vancouver Canucks, Bill with the Anaheim Ducks, Robert with the Florida Panthers, Arnold, Arnold with the New Jersey Devils, Dan with the Carolina Hurricanes and St. Louis Blues. Mark Mathis with the Vegas Golden Knights. Kyle S. with the Winnipeg Jets. Derek with the Montreal Canadiens. David with the Buffalo Sabres. Kerry with the Detroit Red Wings. Derek with the Tampa Bay Lightning. Sean with the Minnesota Wild. Jason South with the Edmonton Oilers. Mark with the Nashville Predators. Matthew Fennell with the Pittsburgh Penguins. Brian with the Ottawa Senators. Matthew with the Philadelphia Flyers. Paul Roberts with the San Jose Sharks. Alex S. with the Columbus Blue Jackets and LA Kings. Terry with the Calgary Flames. Kevin with the Toronto Maple Leafs. Andrew with the New York Rangers. Sean with the Washington Capitals. Mark with the Dallas Stars. And BJ with the Chicago Blackhawks. All right. Switch things over here. I'm just going to move my screens around. And just as a heads up for artifacts, if we do hit either um, one of the... Uh, wild card rookie redemptions or a like Roman numeral one it will go to the player that is listed on the checklist now because those are all live in public so just as a heads up for that uh, let's start I guess take down the pyramid here and yeah we'll go from there so I've got the checklist up for that um, just in case it does happen but we'll save artifacts till the end same with SP game used and then we'll just go with the rotating uh, series one series two setup so, hey, J Train, how's it going today? I think we'll, we might change things up and start with, uh, let's start with a uh, series, let's start with series two first. Let's go backwards. We did series one first last time. Let's see how series two first will do. So, uh, I completely messed up that order in there, but it's all good. <laughs> Get the keyboard and mouse out of the way. There we go. All right, so here we go. Uh, ready to go into box number one. Good luck, everyone. Again, if you need to know your teams, just let me know in chat I, and I can get you your team. Uh, but yeah, good luck. Uh, OPG will be next week. The link is uh, here. Let me just copy and paste this link for you. Uh, the link is right there for OPG Platinum. So it is a, it'll be on the 18th. So, all right. And box one so i was looking at the checklist too um you get definitely like i think it's about a jersey card a box in in a series two which is different from a hobby because a uh, hobby you don't always get a jersey card so definitely some pros there as well but uh let's see how everything breaks down here so and 
And first pack, we have a marquee rookie of Martin Fehavery for the Washington Capitals. Fehavery for the Capitals. And I'll try to keep an eye out for any base variations because I believe base variations are still in this. I'm not 100% sure, but I think you can still get base variations. Um, and they, they're tough to spot sometimes, so I'll just keep an eye out for them. Uh, next up is a UD canvas of Matt Zuccarello for the Minnesota Wild. Uh, Zuccarello for the Minnesota Wild. Next pack. Uh, here we go. We have uh, Young Guns of Oliver Wallstrom for the New York Islanders. Nice first Young Gun out of the gate there who had the Islanders. That was uh, William Duck with the Islanders. Good start there. He's He looks like he's going to be decent. So uh, He did really well with Jack Hughes in, uh, in the U.S. National Development Program. So hopefully he can kind of regain that a little bit. Next, we have a rookie portraits of Ilya Mikheyev for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Mikheyev portraits for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Next up, we have a Capo Caco, marquee rookie for the New York Rangers. Nice Caco for the Rangers there. Next up, we've got Let's see, Matt Duchesne, OPG update for the Nashville Predators. Duchesne update for the Predators. Next pack, we have uh, Yuno, Yuno Luoto, Young Guns for the Winnipeg Jets. Hit his exclusives on the, uh, uh, nice, nice. Uh, glad to see you got your package. Um, but yeah, uh, Hit the exclusives of Luoto on uh, Thursday there, so cool to see. Uh, Matt Barzell, canvas for the New York Islanders. Hit him, and then out of Series 1, we hit the McKay of uh, Acetate, so that would have been... That was actually pretty cool. That first box... That first box was insane with the uh, Kako and... Was that... I think that was the Kako canvas and the McKay of Acetate. That was just a ridiculous box of... Uh, of series one. Next up, we have, this looks like a straight up base pack here. So uh, there are some base packs in this. So uh, I'll just keep an eye out uh, to see if there's anything kind of that stands out like a base variation or something like that if they're in retail. I think they might be, I'm not 100% sure, but again, I'll go through everything and make sure. Next up, we have a Kako Kako rookie portraits for the New York Rangers. Kako portraits for the New York Ranger Rangers. Who had the Rangers? Andrew with the Rangers. Next up, and there we go. Speaking of Kirby Doc, Kirby Doc Young Gun for the Chicago Blackhawks. Who had the Blackhawks? That was BJ with the Blackhawks. Nice one there. We'll get that one in a sleeve. Might as well have something to display early on here. There we go. I mean, he kind of, the Blackhawks kind of shocked people when they took him third overall, but he's a really good player that just got, you know, a little bit of bad luck in his draft year. So uh, his stock didn't fall as much as it could have, which is good for him. And he kind of proved their bet right. Uh, next up, we have an OPG retro, a PK Subban for the Devils. I, I like the OPG retro design this year. It's going to look nice in platinum, actually, with that foiled. That'll be really nice. Uh, Merzlikens, marquee rookie for the Columbus Blue Jackets. I think if the rookies are in the sunset parallel as well, those are going to pop. Those will look ridiculously good. Next up, UD Canvas of Seth Jones for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Seth Jones Canvas for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Next up, we have a Noah Dobson Young Guns for the New York Islanders. Nice Dobson Young Gun for the Islanders there. And so yeah, we're at, I think, three Young Guns so far. Yeah, three Young Guns so far. So uh, Mackenzie McEachern, Rookie Portraits for the St. Louis Blues. McEachern Portraits for the Blues. Straighten Dak out right there. There you go. Next up, we have... 
Uh, Morgan Frost, marquee rookie blue for the Philadelphia Flyers. Didn't see too much of Frost actually on Thursday after his uh, back-to-back pretty hot weeks in in the break, especially that uh, that SPX break. Next up, Nick Suzuki, marquee rookie for the Montreal Canadiens. Hitting some good marquee rookies in this one. That's Derek S. with the Canadians there. Next pack, we have uh, Young Guns of Eric Branchum for the Ottawa Senators. That's a good one as well. Brian, that is yours. Nice branch from Young Guns. Oh, we have four Young Guns, right? I forgot about the, or five. We have the deck in front. <laughs> and your odds of getting canvases are actually the exact same as well. And uh, like Young Gun canvases in Series 1 and Series 2. So in retail and hobby. Uh, Nazem Kadri canvas for the Colorado Avalanche. Kadri canvas for the Avalanche. Next up, we got our jersey here. We have, nice, a rookie materials of Nikita Gusev for the New Jersey Devils. Gusev rookie materials for the New Jersey Devils. I don't know if he is a group A or a group B. I know we hit all group A's in our um, in our break on Thursday with the Makar and uh, Connor Timmons rookie portraits for the Colorado Avalanche. I think we hit Makar, Suzuki, um, and Boquist. I think Adam Boquist for the Blackhawks in, on Thursday. So next up we have a Young Guns of Jack Stanichka for the Boston Bruins. Nice one there. So yeah, there's our six young guns. Rookie materials got your inserts, and overall just a pretty strong box here to start us off. Good young guns, and you know everything is just pretty good here. Uh, Jesper Boquist, marquee rookie retro for the New Jersey Devils. So everything seemed pretty good in that box there. Uh, really good start. Some good quality young guns. And, you know, that's really all you want out of this is uh, just the good young guns here. So, all right, here we go. Also, these boxes are a lot easier to cut into as opposed to uh, hobby boxes, which is nice from, saves me like two seconds every time. Plus the packs are just easier to take out a stack. So, but yeah, no, super, super fun product. Token. Uh, again, because if you're looking for young guns, like it just makes a lot of sense. You get the same amount of young guns. Um, if you're not too particular about exclusives or clear cuts, uh, it, it is a good product to like fill sets and stuff like that. So first up, it looks like we just have a base pack here. So base pack to start us off. Next up, we've got... Uh, Canvas of Sebastian Ajo for the Carolina Hurricanes. Ajo canvas for the Hurricanes. And yeah, Series 1, kind of the same thing as Series 2. You're just missing out on like a couple of the insert sets, but nothing really major. So uh, there we go. Nice young guns for the Colorado Avalanche of Connor Timmins. Connor Timmins young gun for the Colorado Avalanche. You're hoping you hit the other Colorado Avalanche defenseman, but Timmins is pretty good in his own right. They're ridiculously stacked on defense. Uh, next up looks like another base pack here. So Next up, we have... Uh, uh, this looks like another base pack here. Running into a little bit of a base pack hot streak. Again, I'll double check at the end of the break, make sure there's no base variations or anything like that. Uh, sorting through all of the cards can take a little bit of time, especially to pick them out, but uh, it's it's not too bad. So, Tuka Rask portraits for the Boston Bruins. That's one thing, like, if they made the base variations just, like, stand out a little bit more, like, use retired players or something like that, or just, like, really unique foiling or something, it'd be really cool to see, but... Uh, we got our Young Guns of Blake Lazat for the LA Kings. Blake Lazat Young Guns for the LA Kings. Next up, we have uh, Ryan Getzlaff Canvas for the Anaheim Ducks. Getzlaff Canvas for the Anaheim Ducks. Next up, we have, looks like a jersey card here. Packs down in there. There we go. And 
Zach Wierenski for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Nice Wierenski game jersey for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Who had Columbus here? Uh, Alex S. with the Blue Jackets there. He's a good defenseman. He had a lot of goals this year, actually. Next up, we have another base pack here, looks like. Yeah, nothing looking too different in that one. Next up, we have uh, Zach Seneshin Young Guns for the Boston Bruins. Seneshin Young Gun for the Boston Bruins. Next side of things. So it looks like Series 2 had a lot less base packs because they have all the OPG updates, I guess. But uh, Connor Hellebuck, UD Portraits for the Winnipeg Jets. So that's going to be like the one difference there. I don't know if you guys, the base actually on some of these cards is pretty cut off. It's kind of cool to see. <laughs> that's the like only thing with the design this year that I'm not the biggest fan of, but it's just because it, it's really easy to tell if your base card's centered or not. Um, got another base pack here. That uh, looks like, yep. Don't see anything too different here, so. Ah, uh, but yeah, it's the only thing that's really different from like, the one thing I don't like about the design outside of that, everything else is pretty, pretty great to me. Next up, we have a Tyler Bertuzzi canvas for the uh, Detroit Red Wings on that one. Nice Bertuzzi canvas for the Red Wings. All right, here we go. Next pack we have uh, Taro Hyros Young Guns for the Detroit Red Wings. Nice Hyros for the Red Wings there. Next pack. So, so far, I mean, decent, like decent Young Guns so far, which you can't really complain about too much. Uh, looks like another base pack here. Lots of base packs though in series one. Okay. I think that's just because uh, Series 2 has all the OPG content in it, which is a real difference between the two, but uh, another base pack here. Next up, we have uh, Brett Burns Portraits for the San Jose Sharks. But yeah, I think that's the main difference between the two is that uh, series two has all the portraits and, or not all the portraits, all the, uh, well, they have portraits too, but all the like canvas and stuff. Uh, Martin Faye Harvey, Young Guns for the Washington Capitals. Another Young Guns for the Caps there. Next up we have, let's see what we're going to get here. Mikkel Grandling canvas for the Nashville Predators. Grandling canvas for the Predators. Next up, we've got, looks like another base pack here. Nothing standing out that's different. Next up, we've got a Shooting Stars Red on right wings. This card is, uh, seems like it misprinted a little bit though, but um, unless they're all like that, but of David Pashnak. Nice one. That's actually a harder one to get. So nice shooting star is red of Pashnak. It looks like the uh the right wings and shooting stars kind of uh are misaligned there, unless that's just the way it's meant to look. But I thought they looked a little bit like a little bit more solid than that. We'll have to pull another one to find out. And an Ilya McKay of Young Guns for the Toronto Maple Leafs. But yeah, the the right wings are harder to get. The defensemen are the hardest to get, I believe, out of um out of series one and series two, or series one, uh, get soft portraits for the Anaheim Ducks, and the red ones are just that much tougher to get. So, uh, not a, overall not a bad box. Got some decent young guns. Uh, um, you can definitely tell how series two has a lot more like just little stuff like the OPG in it, uh, just by like the stack of the hits. So, uh, but let's get into the next box here. All right, here we go. That box is done. 
And let's get into another box of Series 2 retail here. So you're going to see a lot more of the OPG stuff, which I like. Um, it's always nice to get, you know, a little bit more stuff. Uh, Frost, marquee rookie for the Florida Pan or Flor Philadelphia Flyers. <laughs> uh, next up. Yeah, you'll notice all the OPG content and stuff like that. Uh, all the canvas, like, there's a lot more stuff normally in Series 2 retail. Uh, Barkov canvas for the Florida Panthers. Uh, which is, again, like, you get all the update rookies and stuff, and if you're into collecting rookies, it's actually, like, really, really good that way. Next up, Nick Hag. Uh, Young Guns for the Vegas Golden Knights. Base on the rest. Next pack, we have, can you hit base variations? Does it say on the back of this? It does not. Uh, we have a Carl Grunstrom rookie portraits for the LA Kings. Grunstrom rookie portraits for the LA Kings. Next pack, we've got uh, Scott Sabarin, marquee rookie for the Ottawa Senators. Sabrin Marquee Rookie for the Ottawa Senators. Next up, we've got a Cadre Update for the Colorado Avalanche. Cadre Update for the Avalanche. Next pack. Looks like we've got a Young Gun here of Ryan Lindgren for the New York Rangers. Lindgren Young Gun for the Rangers. I'm not the main ranger you're uh, you're hoping to hit, but still a good one. Next up, uh, UD Canvas Checklist. So this will be random if we don't get two between Colorado and uh, Edmonton of McKinnon and Dreisaitl. We'll stick that one over here just in case it needs to be randomed off. If we get a second one, we'll, um, both Edmonton and Colorado will get one. Unless someone has both Edmonton and Colorado here, but uh, let's see. Nope, that is not the case. Uh, looks like we've got our base pack here. Yeah, it looks like a base pack there. Next up. We've got... There we go. Uh, Kale Flurry. UD Rookie Portraits for the Montreal Canadiens. Flurry Rookie Portraits for the Canadiens. Next up, we have... There we go, there's another good young gun for the Montreal Canadiens, Nick Suzuki. Nice Suzuki young gun for the Habs. Suzuki for the Habs young gun. He's good enough to be in that front row. Yeah, Series 2 retail seems really strong this year too, though, with the crop of young guns and, like, just the overall hit quantity and quality you get. I mean, you get the chance at the rookie materials. Um, you know, there's just a lot of good stuff that you can get out of it. Kale Fleury, rookie retro for the Montreal Canadiens. So definitely something, like, that's just a fun break uh, and just a good value product. Next up, Connor Timmons, marquee rookie for the Colorado Avalanche. Timmons Marquee Rookie for the Colorado Avalanche. We had the Canadians again. Uh, it was Derek S. with the Canadians. Next up, we have uh, Zach Wierenski, uh Canvas for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Got his jersey, got his canvas. Next up here, we have... Uh, Joey Decord, Young Gun for the Ottawa Senators. Decord, Young Gun for the Ottawa Senators. Next up, we've got uh, Gaten Haas, Rookie Portraits for the Edmonton Oilers. Haas, Rookie Portraits for the Edmonton Oilers. Next up, we've got a Yaka Blilia, Marky Rookie Blue for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Next up. We have, oops, I'm not going to top loader all over the place here. 
Uh, Emil Benstrom, marquee rookie for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Blue Jackets have a lot of rookies in this. There we go. I got, I think, six packs left here. So I think we got a couple young guns left in the close. And we have uh, Alexei Sorelia, young gun for the Florida Panthers. Nice young gun there for the Panthers. Next up, we have an Oliver Ekman Larson canvas for the Arizona Coyotes. Ekman Larson canvas for the Arizona Coyotes. And next pack, we have looks like a base pack here. Next up, we've got uh, rookie portraits of Vili Hinola for the Winnipeg Jets. Hinola rookie portraits for the Winnipeg Jets. And I think we got a young gun coming up here. We have a Guillaume Brisebois young guns for the Vancouver Canucks. Brisebois young guns for the Vancouver Canucks. And final pack of the third box of the break here. What's in store? We have a Sergei Bobrovsky retro for the Florida Panthers. Nice Bobrovsky retro there to finish things off. All right. Uh, back to box of series one here. So yeah, so far between the two, I mean, series two, you get all your OPG stuff in it. So if you do like that type of stuff, um, definitely good but series one you know you've got some really heavy hitting young guns you've got Hughes you've got Hughes uh, and you've got some good players who kind of have the potential to burst onto the scenes here um EJ I'll see what we can do here um I'll check into that though normally we don't ship the base but uh we'll check in see if you get like a team set or something I'll check into that Next up, Matt Barzell, rook, er, portraits for the Islanders. Next up, we have, uh, but uh, if you shoot an email to the uh, to our uh, support, then we can uh, definitely get look into that request for you. Uh, Jack Eichel, shooting stars for the Buffalo Sabres. So yeah, the... Uh, it looks like the Pasternak actually was misprinted. So when you just look at the two there, kind of cool little little Easter egg there. Uh, error, like some people just love their error cards. So whoever had who had the Bruins here, the Bruins was Mark. So just something to keep in mind. Sometimes people like that stuff a little bit more. Uh, Gaudreau canvas for the Calgary Flames. Next up, this feels like a jersey card. No, it's not. It's just a thick base pack. We have. Uh, Young Guns of Mackenzie McEachern for the St. Louis Blues. Next up, we have... Uh, looks like a base pack here. Next pack, what we got, we have... Uh, another base pack here. This looks like there's about six base packs or so in series one retail. That's what it feels like, something like that. Uh, Philip Myers, rookie portraits for the Philadelphia Flyers. Myers, rookie portraits for the Philadelphia Flyers. I like the style of packs they use though. They're easier to just kind of rip into. Uh, Nathan Bastion, young guns for the uh, New Jersey Devils there. Bastion, young gun for the New Jersey Devils. Next up, we've got a Young Guns canvas. That's a good one. Victor Olofsson for the Buffalo Sabres. David Hart, nice one there. Had a really, really strong rookie year. Good Young Gun canvas there. Again, you have the same odds of getting your Young Gun canvases in retail as you do in hobby. So uh, definitely, definitely worth checking out. All right, there you go. You can kind of sit right up there next to the rookie materials. Yeah, that's a good one. It's always good to get a good young gun canvas. It's just a bonus young gun in the box, so 
Looks like we have our jersey card of John Klingberg for the Dallas Stars. John Klingberg jersey for the Dallas Stars. I like the Stanley Cup logo that they used for the jersey swatch too this year, rather than just like a plain, like a plain swatch or something like that, like a square swatch. Just spices it up a little bit. Uh, Tyler Sagan, nothing else there. I know Sagan was a base variation, but he's in his green jersey for the variation, not the white jersey. Next up, a Gaden Haas Young Guns for the Edmonton Oilers. I just sorted through a bunch of Series 1 base, so it's kind of funny because, like, you can start, after you sort through it a couple times, you can kind of get through and, like, see all the uh, all the variations a little bit easier. Uh, Patrick Kane portraits for the Chicago Blackhawks. Uh, next up, we have uh, just a base pack there. Next up, we've got a Brady Kachuk canvas for the Ottawa Senators. Brady Kachuk for the Senators. Next up, ah, there you go. Ryan Paling Young Gun for the Montreal Canadiens. Nice Paling there for the Habs. Again, Habs have some really good Young Guns this year. They've got Primo, Suzuki, Hayes, and er, Primo, Suzuki, uh, Flurry and Paling would be their would be their guys, and I mean they're all pretty solid players here, so definitely a team to watch out for. Next up, we have another base pack here. Next pack, we've got uh, Carey Price portraits for the Montreal Canadiens. Habs going on a little bit of a streak here. All right, let's see what's in this one. Daniel, you're taking, you're tacking, young gun for the San Jose Sharks. You're tacking for the Sharks. Next up, we have a canvas of Miko Koivu for the Minnesota Wild. Koivu canvas for the Minnesota Wild. Three packs left here in this box. All right, let's see here yeah, what's gonna be in this one. We have a base pack. Two packs left. I mean, good box with the canvas young gun of a Olafson in it, so can't complain at all. Uh, just another base pack there. And final pack of the box. We have uh, Young Guns of Lean Bergman for the San Jose Sharks. Bergman Young Gun for the San Jose Sharks. All right, let's get back into Series 2 here. Series 2 will up the hit stack quite a bit. Let's see. Let's see. We've hit Doc. We've hit Suzuki. Let's go for... Uh, I mean, you always want to see Makar, but... I think we'll see a Merzlikens here. Maybe a Merzlikens. Maybe Elvis will enter the building here. Empty there. And here we go. All right, box number three here. Uh, we've got a Joel Farabee marquee rookie for the Philadelphia Flyers. So yeah, Series 1 Retail always has a jersey card. I think Series 2, they're about one in every couple of boxes or so. One in, Yeah, one in about every couple of boxes, something like that. Um, so just important to know. Uh, Phil Kessel canvas for the Arizona Coyotes there. I love those Kachina jerseys. They're just such a cool jersey. I just like it because it's unique, it's colorful, it pops, you know. It looks like a little bit intimidating. Emil Benstrom, young gun for the Columbus Blue Jackets. And they just look cool like when it's the whole team and you know you've got the goalies pads that are matching in. It just they're just so sharp. Next up we have a Carter Verhage rookie portraits for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Verhage rookie portraits for the Tampa Bay Lightning. And 
Uh, David Gustafson, Marky Rookie Blue for the Winnipeg Jets. Gustafson, Marky Rookie Blue for the Jets. And Adam Fox, Marky Rookie for the New York Rangers. Fox, Marky Rookie for the New York Rangers. Next, Prohorkin, Young Guns for the LA Kings. Was this, uh, this might have been Makar. I think this might be a Makar box. I think Prohorkin was always with Makar. I'm not 100% sure if it's the same in retail, but I think that's what it was. Uh, crew Canvas for the Boston Bruins. Next up, looks like we got a rookie materials or a jersey of some kind in this one, and it is... Uh, nice rookie materials of Cody Glass for the Vegas Golden Knights. Not too often you get an actual like dark gray jersey swatch. We'll put him, we'll keep them together, the two rookie materials. Because I think they're a little bit cooler hits than the uh, just the base jerseys. Get that rookie fabric in there. Next up, Blake Lazat portraits for the LA Kings. Lazat portraits for the LA Kings. And after this, we've got uh, Jonathan Davidson, Young Guns for the Ottawa Senators. Davidson, Young Gun for the Senators. Next pack, we've got uh, Noah Dobson, OPG Rookie Retro for the New York Islanders. Next up, we've got... Uh, Dominic Kubalik, Marky Rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. Get another really high scoring rookie winger. There are a few of them this year, actually. Like, just scored a lot of goals. Uh, Nikita Kucherov, canvas for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Kucherov, canvas for the Lightning. After that, looks like we got a young gun coming up here. And Ram Pitlick for the. Nashville Predators. Pit like young guns for the Predators. I think we're at four young guns so far, so not a bad box though with the rookie materials. Some good young guns. Uh Balsers portraits for the Ottawa Senators. Definitely solid. I think Cody Glass is a group A. I'm not quite sure, but I think he's in the caliber of players for that. So uh Mikheyev, Marky Rookie for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Next up, we've got uh, Bobrovsky, update for the Florida Panthers. Got about six packs or so left here. Next we have uh, Julian Gauthier for the Carolina Hurricanes, young gun. Nice Gauthier for the Hurricanes. All right, so I think we got one young gun unless we hit a canvas left in this uh, in this box, so... See what's lying in here. Debrinkat, uh, canvas for the Chicago Blackhawks. That's a really cool, I really like that photo. Walking down the red carpet with all the Blackhawks fans. That's cool. Next up, we have, uh, looks like a base pack there. And three packs left in the box. Let's see what we're gonna finish off with. We have a Gusev Rookie Portraits for the New Jersey Devils. Gusev Rookie Portraits for the Devils. Two packs left here. I think we have the one young gun left, if I'm not mistaken. All right, let's go. There we go. We have, and yep, there he is. That's who you're hoping to get. Kale McCarr, Young Gun for the Colorado Avalanche. Sean, that is yours. Nice hit there. Again, just such a strong rookie crop this year. I mean, in Series 2, it's just retail is just such a bargain break. It's just so much value in it. It's crazy. Especially when you keep getting these like really good Young Guns. I mean, you look at her. We've had three boxes so far of Series 2, and we've hit, like, a really good young gun every single box. So, just absolutely solid product, top to bottom here. And two rookie materials as well. I like, can't complain at all. 
Next up, to finish off the box, a Dimitro Timoshov marquee rookie retro for the Toronto Maple Leafs. All right, so I think so far, I mean, Series 2 definitely seems stronger in retail than Series 1 does, but all it takes is a couple Quinn Hughes or Jack Hughes, and, you know, you're laughing from Series 1. Let's see what we can get, though. All right, here we go. First stack over here. Yeah, they different. They did use different packs though for series one retail than uh, hobby because they have the nice little uh, easy rips up here, which is, I mean, it makes it really easy to open up the packs, which is nice. Uh, next, first up is a Chris Letang shooting stars for the Pittsburgh Penguins. The defensemen are the tougher one to hit, so that's actually a good one to get there. Again, it's a high, pretty highly collected set actually from all the shows and stuff. People normally are looking out for them. So, and espe again, especially the defensemen and the goalies. Uh, Felino canvas for the Columbus Blue Jackets just because the goalies are only available, I think, in tins, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but it's cool how there's like different products you have to chase different cards in. Uh, next up, a Vitaly Abramov Young Gun for the Ottawa Senators. Abramov Young Gun for the Senators. Uh, next up, looks like a base pack here. Yeah, just a base pack. Next up, it's like another base pack here. After that, let's see. We have a Ovechkin Portraits for the Washington Capitals. Ovechkin Portraits for the Capitals. Next up, we've got a Connor Bunneman Young Gun for the Philadelphia Flyers. Nice Bunneman Young Gun for the Flyers. Next up, and there we go. Nice young gun canvas of Nick Hag for the Vegas Golden Knights. Again, I think he's going to be a pretty important piece of that team for a long time. So, uh, definitely a good defenseman. Uh, I mean, always, always good when you can get those good defensemen. His value will probably climb up over time too, just because, again, Vegas is going to be in a bit of a cap crunch here. We'll put him up front just because... You know, Young Gun Canvas is kind of deserve a bit of the spotlight here. But just to show you, like, again, retail is strong if you're looking for Young Guns. Uh, jersey card here of Sam Bennett. Looks like there's a little bit of chipping there just on the Stanley Cup die cut. Uh, just a little bit of chipping. It mostly folds back over, but Sam Bennett, UD Game Jersey there. Next up, we have... A uh, base pack here. Don't think any of those were variations either. Next up, we've got a Jesper Boquist Young Guns for the New Jersey Devils. Boquist Young Gun for the New Jersey Devils. It's our, I think, third one of this box. Yeah, I think that's our third one of this box. So just about halfway through here. Next pack, Ryan Paling rookie portraits for the Montreal Canadiens. Paling portraits for the Canadiens. I kind of want to put the pa or the portrait set together and just uh, hang it up in like a frame, like a, with a ninety-seven. We have the Nino you know, Rider sliding out there, uh, and a Rudolph Balser's young guns for the Ottawa Senators. Niederreiter didn't want to stay in there, but um, yeah, just like a kind of. Uh, like, I don't know, getting like a 90s style frame and just putting them all in like a collage would be kind of funny to see. Uh, Vander Kane canvas for the San Jose Sharks. Kane canvas for the San Jose Sharks. Next up, we have, oh, uh, looks like a base pack here. Yeah, just a base pack. Next up, and these packs just 
shred open. I like it. Ah, uh, another base pack here. Next up, we got uh, Zach McEwen, Young Gun, for the Vancouver Canucks. Zach McEwen for the Canucks on the Young Guns. After that, we've got uh, Andre Svechnikov, Portraits for the Carolina Hurricanes. Svech Portraits for the Hurricanes. Next up, we have uh, another base pack there. Next pack, we've got uh, UD Canvas of Morgan Riley for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Uh, Riley Canvas for the Toronto Maple Leafs. And four packs left here in the box. Uh, nice, young gun of Victor Olofsson. So you got the canvas and you got the base. Uh, who had the Sabres again? Uh, David Hart with the Sabres. Got the parallels there. He's got a wicked shot. Like He's one of those players that you put him in a spot to shoot the puck, and he's like going to hit his spot most of the time. It's really cool to see like that type of talent, especially when you have Eichel setting him up. I mean, Eichel's got a good shot of his own, but Olofsson can just rip the puck. Like, so, it's so, off his stick so quickly, too. All right, last pack of the box here. And what are we finishing off with? We have a Portraits of Nikita Kucherov for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Kucherov Portraits for the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right. Let's get the base to the side here. There we go. And onto a box of series two here. So so far, I mean, series two has definitely brought the heat. Uh, series one, we've hit, you know, two young gun canvases uh, of both pretty solid players, actually. And, and I mean, the getting the Olsen young gun, um, a couple good young guns in there, so. Uh, and again, like the jersey cards are always just a nice little added bonus as well. Because uh, especially if there's people that do that set too, and they're just easier to hit out of retail than hobby. So, uh, but let's keep things going on here with some series two. And get right into the swing of things with an OPG marquee rookie of Wallstrom for the Islanders. Wallstrom marquee rookie for the Islanders. Next up, and there we go, another young gun canvas of Philip My Philip Myers for the Florida Pan or Second time today, Philadelphia Flyers. <laughs> Philip Myers, young gun canvas for the Philadelphia Flyers. Who had the Flyers? Uh, Matt with the Flyers. Nice hit there. Next up, Otto Ku Koivula for the New York Islanders, young gun. Next pack. We've got, also let me know what box you want to see last. If you want to see SP game user artifacts, that's the last box of the break. Uh, portraits of Martin Fahavery, uh, Fahavery for the Washington Capitals. Let me know what you want to see last between SP game use and artifacts. I was thinking doing SP game use last, but if you guys want to see artifacts last, let me know. Uh, Kirby Dak, Marky Rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. Jack Marky Rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. Next pack, we have a Varlamov uh, update for the New York Islanders. Varlamov update for the Islanders. There we go. Uh, what we got here? A Rhett Gardner Young Guns for the Dallas Stars. Gardner Young Gun for the Dallas Stars. After that, we've got a uh, Braden Shen canvas for the St. Louis Blues. Shen canvas for the St. Louis Blues. Next up, we have, looks like just a plain old base pack here. Looks like just the base pack there. 
Next up, we've got uh, rookie portraits of Nick Suzuki for the Montreal Canadiens. Suzuki portraits for the Habs. Hit him a few times this break. And all the different types of cards that you can get of him. We have, there we go, nice young gun there, Barrett Hayden for the Arizona Coyotes. Alex Song, that's yours. Nice Hayden for the Coyotes there. He's going to probably go up over time once once like he gets more playing time in the NHL. Uh, Mikheyev, retro rookie for the Toronto Maple Leafs. I'm shocked he didn't get like the World Junior bump, actually, because normally players who do really well at the World Juniors get a bit of a bump, but... Uh, Kubalik, retro rookie for the Chicago Blackhawks. Nice Dominic Kubalik, retro rookie there for the Blackhawks. They're doing well this break, as they normally do with Doc and Kubalik. Next up, Joaquin Nygaard for the Edmonton Oilers marquee rookie. Nygaard for the Oilers. Next pack. See what we're going to get here. And a Victor Hedman canvas for the Tampa Bay Lightning. So Hedman canvas for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Uh, do, 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 do. Okay, so it looks like in every box or every, but well, every second box you either get a jersey card or something like that. Uh, so that's cool to see. Uh, Giovanni Smith, Young Guns for the Detroit Red Wings. I like I like the like difference between the two because like series one you definitely like you always get a jersey card in, uh, whereas uh, series one you normally like. Like, every second retail box seems pretty fair, especially given the Young Gun crop and all the other stuff. Uh, Jonathan Davidson, rookie portraits for the Ottawa Senators. Davidson, rookie portraits for the Ottawa Senators. Next pack, we have a Nazem Kadri update blue for the Colorado Avalanche. The uh, veterans in the parallels for OPG updates are actually pretty tough to hit at times, so... Uh, nice little one there. Someone's looking to complete the set. Uh, Gusev, marquee rookie for the New Jersey Devils. Gusev, marquee rookie for the Devils. So pretty solid box here. Got a young gun canvas. Good young guns. Um, yeah, can't really complain too much. Uh, Klim Costin, young gun for the St. Louis Blues. Nice one there. He's a, he's a pretty good little player. Well, not little. He's pretty big, but... Uh, Definitely a player to keep your eye on over time, too. Next up, Austin Matthews canvas for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Got the beginning of that mustache in there that he's now famous for. Next pack. Oh, this is actually a tough one to get here. A rookie photo shoot flashback materials of Philip Myers. These are super tough hits in retail. Nice one there. Uh, I think you'll probably knock out, we can knock out the uh, Gusev jersey. Gusev is no longer Lusev. There we go. Those are, uh, what are they? One in every, I think 576 packs. Yeah, one in every 576 packs. So about, I mean, pretty much one per almost master case, which is a 20 box case of retail. Uh, portraits of Adam Fox for the Rangers. But nice one there. And finishing things off, we have up here, Engvall, Young Guns for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Nice little Young Gun at the end there. All right, we have two boxes of Series 1 and one box of Series 2 left before we get into the heavy hitters of Artifacts and SP Game Use. And let me know what box you guys want to see next, or what box you want to see first, and what box you want to see last. So, if we don't, we'll go in the order of SP game use last. So, artifacts will be after retail. But we're saving the, the big stuff to the end. So, here we go. Box is empty. Here we go. Let's see one of the Hughes Young Guns here. Either a Hughes or a Sandine. One or the other would be good, though. One of the Hughes would be good. Connor Clifton, Young Gun for the Boston Bruins. Bruins stay hidden. They got a lot of Young Guns, too, this year. They always seem to have a lot of just rookies coming up into their lineup. I guess because they're pretty pretty tight to the cap, so they need to rotate players around. 
Uh, Jacob Slavin for the uh, Carolina Hurricanes. Canvas. Next pack here. Looks like we've got a jersey carding coming. And Jake Allen game jersey for the St. Louis Blues. Nice one having the cup on it, considering he won the cup last year. Next pack. We've got a base pack here. Next pack. Let's see what we've got here. We have a Vladislav Gavrikov. Uh, Young Guns for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Nice Gavrikov for the Columbus Blue Jackets. So, yeah, we're missing kind of like the... We've got Olofsson, uh, but uh, Larkin Portraits for the Detroit Red Wings. It'd be nice to get like one of the big Young Guns from Series 1. Still, we got, you know, about a box and a little bit over a box and a half left to get one of the Hughes or, you know, even a Kubalik would be pretty nice. Uh, base pack here. Next up, we have a canvas of Jack Eichel for the Buffalo Sabres. I think we always seem to get that one in every break and pretty much every uh, series one thing we've done. I think <laughs> I've seen it a few times at least. Next up, Scott Sabrin Young Gun for the Ottawa Senators. Definitely a new little crop in this box. Sabrin Young Gun for the Senators. Say Scott Sabrin Senators 10 times fast and it uh, might not work out for you. Next up, we've got a base pack here. Next up, we have a pack that's shredding on me. Uh, another base pack. All right, about halfway point here, so we got a couple base packs out of the way. Uh, we have a Dante Fabro rookie portraits for the Nashville Pre Predators. Nice Fabro rookie portraits for the Predators there. I think we got a few youngins hiding in this box still. Let's see who we're going to get. We've got a Kale Flurry for the Montreal Canadiens. Nice Flurry there for the Habs. Got Suzuki, got Flurry, got Paling. All I need is a Primo, and they got all of their young guns. Who at the Habs again? Uh, Darnell Nurse canvas for the Edmonton Oilers. There's Derek with the Habs. Habs are hidden pretty well here. I mean, they normally do, given their quantity of rookies. and I mean, their rookie quality is also good, too. They're just a good overall team. You know, I've said that a few times, but based on that one. And... Here we go, next pack. We have a Shooting Stars Red. This one has the same kind of print thing where it's kind of, the print's a little bit off on it, but of Jonathan Tays, nice Shooting Stars Red. Uh, yeah, definitely not supposed to be like that where the centering's, or like the white's kind of off on it, I don't think, but uh, who knows, maybe they are. But still cool card there. Those again are tougher to hit, so good to see. Uh, Philip Myers Youngin for the Philadelphia Flyers. Got his canvas, now got his base as well. I mean, if we're going at that rate, maybe we'll get a uh, a McCarr canvas. That'd be pretty nice. Uh, Latang UD portraits for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Next up. We have... Another base pack there. Next up, we've got a Patrick Kane canvas for the Chicago Blackhawks. Kane canvas for the Blackhawks. We got about four packs left in this box. I think we got a, one or two young guns left. I think. Next up, there's a Rasmus Sandin young gun for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Nice one there. Kevin with that. And he's a player that I think he's going to go up as the Leafs start to do a little bit better. Um, I think the Leafs are going to do a little bit better, but uh, yeah, again, just really good player. Lots of, like, for a young defenseman, he showed a lot of poise and just, like, 
him, he just really kind of shocked me just how good he was right away. I knew he was going to be good, but like he stepped in and generally seemed okay, which is good. And final pack, what are we finishing off with? Uh, Pekka Rene Portraits for the Nashville Predators. So, I mean, a couple good young guns there. Uh, the Sandine's a good one. The Flurry's good. Uh, not too much to complain about here. But let's get into Series 2 here. Series 2 has been super hot with the rookie materials of photo shoot flashbacks. Um, I mean, you got the one young gun canvas out of it. It's definitely been on fire. Got them the car. There we go. Get rid of the box there. And here we go. Starting things off with uh, Jack Hughes, marquee rookie for the New Jersey Devils. Nice Hughes rookie for the Devils there. Next pack, we have. Uh, Mark Shifley canvas for the Winnipeg Jets. Shifley for the Jets on the canvas. Next up, uh, Alexander Volkov, Young Guns for the Tampa Bay Lightning. Volkov for the Tampa Bay Lightning Young Guns. Next pack, we have uh, Lean Bergman, Portraits for the San Jose Sharks. Nice Bergman portraits for the Sharks. And next pack, we've got uh, Daniel Yurtakin, Marky Rookie for the San Jose Sharks. Next up, we have a Corey Perry update for the Dallas Stars. Perry update for the Stars. Let's see, let's see a big young gun here. Let's see, let's see a Kako in this box. Uh, John Marino, young guns for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Marino for the Penguins, that's a good one to get. He's actually done really well. Uh, better than what, again, another player that exceeded expectations of what I thought he was gonna do. Uh, Anisimov canvas for the Ottawa Senators. Next up, we have Uh, looks like a base pack here. It's a plain base pack there. Next pack. We've got uh, Connor Clifton rookie portraits for the Boston Bruins. Bruins, again, always do well with all their rookies, so definitely got a lot of them. Next up we have, there we go, Capo Caco Young Gun for the New York Rangers. Nice cackle there. Series 2 brought it. I mean, just a really good young gun in pretty much every single box. Let's see, get this in there, there we go. Either a really good young gun or a good jersey card or both sometimes. I mean, it just brought the heat, geez. Uh, I think we're gonna bump the hag out here. Hag, you can kind of stay over here. There you go. But nice one there, who had the Rangers? Uh, Andrew S with the Rangers. Nice one there for you, Andrew. Definitely always good to get a Kako. And then following up with an Adam Fox retro rookie for the New York Rangers. So halfway through this final retail box of Series 2. And I mean, Series 2 delivered. Holy cow. Look at those young guns. Like, just those four young guns right here. You hit four of the top young guns out of the product. I mean, can't complain at all out of five boxes. Uh, Bjornfoot, marquee rookie for the LA Kings. And like you've got Hayden, you've got Costin, um, just really, really solid. Next up, and speaking of a good Young Guns car, there's a canvas checklist of both the Hughes brothers, Quint and Jack. That one will be randomed between the New Jersey Devils and Vancouver Canucks. So between Arnold and who had the Devils? Oh, Arnold actually has them both. So that one's not randomed. <laughs> Good luck there having both of those teams, right? Uh, yeah, he had both the Devils and the Canucks. That's too funny. Next up, 
Andrew Peak, Young Guns for the Columbus Blue Jackets. So no need to random that one off here. Next up, we have uh, Alexander Volkov, Rookie Portraits for the Tampa Bay Lightning. All right, we've got about eight packs or so left in here. Let's see if there's any hidden goodies hiding in the end of the box here. But again, just really solid. You got the Young Gun canvas of the two Hughes brothers. Uh, Saturn Marky Rookie Blue for the Senators. Uh, you got the Caco. I mean, no complaints here at all. Just another really, really strong box. Series 2 retail just seems so strong. Next up, Rasmus Sandin, marquee rookie for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Sandin, marquee rookie for the Leafs. Six packs left or so here. And Rasmus Asplund, Young Guns for the Buffalo Sabres. It's nice to see like all the different Young Gun crops come through too. So we got nice very variety of the Young Guns here. No one's really doubling up, which is good to see. Uh, Kuznetsov canvas for the Washington Capitals. Kuznetsov ca uh, canvas for the Capitals. And we have, looks like a base pack here. Yeah, just the base pack. Next up, we've got uh, Tim Shaw rookie portraits for the Toronto Maple Leafs. Two packs left here. Let's see if there's going to be anything fancy in the clothes. I mean, it was already a really, really strong box. So there's zero complaints. Uh, Max Rano Young Gun for the Ottawa Senators. But last pack, Series 2. Holy cow, did it ever bring it. Just such a strong product this year with all the top rookies. And finishing off with a Joel Farabee. Uh... Marky Ricky Retro for the Philadelphia Flyers. So, I mean, Series 2 just brought the heat. Box after box. That is incredible. Now let's see Series 1 end on one of the Hughes here. One of the Hughes would be nice. We hit Sandine. Uh, hit Olofsson. So maybe either Kubalik or one of the Hughes in the, uh, in the final box here. See if we can get this up. There we go. And left stack, right stack, break them down, and here we go. So again, let me know. No one's commented whether they want to see SP Game Use or Artifacts next, but let me know what you do want to see ne next, um, and we'll do open up that box after this. Uh, Joaquin Nygaard for the Edmonton Oilers. Just the two big boxes left there. Lots of big potential in those two for some big rookies and just some cool stuff overall. Zucker canvas for the wild there. Next up, we have... Uh, that's a good one. Nice game jersey of Andrei Svechnikov for the Carolina Hurricanes. He might be a bit of a tougher one to hit. All right, and after this, looks like a base pack here. Yeah, just a base pack. I like how quickly these packs, like just how easy these packs are to open though, that's for sure. Definite plus uh, series one there. Nice Vinny, H Vili Hainola, Young Guns for the Winnipeg Jets. Kind of shocked everyone you made the team out of training camp this year, but with Bufflin uh, taking a bit of a break there. Uh, I mean, they needed him, and he generally played decent, actually, for them. Tarasenko portraits for the St. Louis Blues. Tarasenko portraits for the Blues. And next up, we've got... Uh, looks like another base pack here. Yep. Next pack, here we go. And... We've got uh, Michael Matheson, canvas for the Florida Panthers. Nice canvas for the Panthers there. A couple packs left till we're halfway through the final box here. Uh, Carson Kuhlman, young gun for the Boston Bruins. Kuhlman for the Bruins. I don't think we've hit him yet either. So I think we've spread the, spread the love with young guns this, this break, which is good to see. 
Uh, nothing here. Just base on that one. Next up, we've got uh, another base pack here. Another base pack there. Next up, let's see what we've got. Uh, Pierre Luc Dubois, Rudy or er, rookie portrait or er, UD portraits for the Columbus Blue Jackets. He's no longer a rookie. Couple years old there. And another base pack here. Yeah, just another base pack. All right. So we got pretty much last half of series one here. Let's see one of the big young guns in the close. That'd be really cool to see. One of the big ones just in the close here. Uh, Connor Sherry canvas for the Buffalo Sabres. Next up, we have Dante Fabro for the Nashville Predators. I mean, he's a pretty good defenseman in his own. So got a couple good defensemen in this with uh, Hanola and Fabro. Then we've got a couple young guns left though. Uh, this looks like a base pack here. Yeah, just a base pack. Next up, we have uh, Shooting Stars of Sidney Crosby for the Pittsburgh Penguins. Nice Crosby Shooting Stars for the Penguins. And let's see. We've got an Alexander Texier rookie portrait for the Columbus Blue Jackets. Nice Texier rookie portraits there. And Jimmy Schultz, Young Guns for the Vegas Golden Knights. This is pretty heavy D crop for the Young Guns here. I think we got one, maybe one left in the last few packs here. Miles Wood canvas for the New Jersey Devils. Based on the rest. And it's like just base here as well. All right, three packs to go here. Let's see what's kicking in these past few packs. It's like another base pack there. Two packs left. Let's end on something big here. We've got, and hey, another good defenseman. I mean, just lots of really solid defensemen in this crop here. Uh, Tobias Bjornfoot, Young Guns for the LA Kings, and final pack of the box. Before we move into the big stuff, which looks like we're going to do artifacts first here, uh, we have a Carter Hart UD Portraits. So nice, like again, good group of Young Guns there. I think we kind of spread it out quite a bit. Uh, didn't hit every single crop, but I don't think we doubled up on too many. So, and again, like series two, like absolutely killed it. Like incredible stuff so far. So, all right, we're gonna start off with the artifacts here. Um, let's make some space for, make some space for some hits here. Let's, uh, let's go right in the middle there. Maybe we'll put, put the young gun canvas over here. We'll frame it up a little bit. All right, so it's framed up. For the next big hit to go in there let's see hopefully it'll uh hopefully it'll show up there we go something like that all right so here we go box of artifacts again as a reminder the rookie redemption will go to the um to either if it's got a team on it it'll go to the team that's on the card if it is a wild card or a roman numeral it will go to the player on the checklist since those are all public so go got your sell sheet got your eight packs here box is empty and let's see what we can get artifacts has been really really good this year and again i'll save anything that looks like a patch till the end and i mean i think i think they used normal decoys or they use like the brown decoys so anything that looks like a patch will save it to the end uh, unless they use white decoys and i'm just getting deeped out here Okay, they used white decoys and I'm just getting geeked out. <laughs> Never mind. 
Uh, starting off, though, with an aqua of Mark Shifley, number 245. Nice low-numbered Mark Shifley there. Decoy then base. Maybe these aren't patches. Uh, we'll just open them up. This one might be, but who knows? Maybe not. We'll see. Uh, next up, we got a rookie Ruby of Rudolph Balsers, number to 399 for the Ottawa Senators. Balsers rookie number to 399 for the Ottawa Senators. Here, we'll throw these, throw these over here. Uh, let's see, this one's got a jersey card in it, so we know it's not a patch. Maybe it's an Orem or something. Uh, Bree Kachuk, year one rookie jersey or rookie sweaters for the Ottawa Senators. Nice Brady Kachuk for the Senators there. Uh, I don't think that's a variation one, but there are variations of those. So this looks like another decoy. And we've got an Alexander Ovechkin, stars number to 699 for the Washington Capitals. Ovechkin stars number 699 for the Capitals. It's like we got another hit here. We've got a dual jersey for the Buffalo Sabres number to 165 of Kyle Okposo. Okposo du dual jersey number to 165 for the Buffalo Sabres. Three packs left. Uh, this one, I think it's still a decoy. We will see if it's a decoy. Yeah, it's a decoy. Okay. Next up. Okay, so we got a rookie. An SP2 rookie redemption. This is actually going to be a good one. Uh, let's go on the checklist here. SP2 for the rare rookies. Again, it's SP2. Is Kale McCart for the Colorado Avalanche. Kale McCart for the Colorado Avalanche on the SP2 there. Big, big hit there. Those are really tough to get. So uh, I don't know if there are exact numberings on the back, but I did not see a lot of them, and it did open up a lot of artifacts this year. Uh, that's a big hit, though. SP2, Kale McCarr, Rookie Redemption for the Colorado Avalanche. Massive hit there. Congrats, Sean, on that one. You got his McCarr. You got a short print out of artifacts. I mean nothing to complain about there and an artifacts here of kevin fiala these are actually tough to hit nice kevin fiala artifacts for the minnesota wild especially because he turned it on late in the year so nice artifacts there and last pack i mean extremely strong box of artifacts you got some good ink you got a, like the sp rookie is a really strong pull Let's see how we're gonna end things here and a henrik lundquist ruby Number two, three ninety nine for the New York Rangers. Uh, Lundqvist Ruby for the Rangers. All right, I mean, that was a pretty pretty solid box there. Uh, the SP two rookie redemption is always again very very good. But finishing things off here on a box of SP game used. Let's see what we can get out of this one. Maybe we'll get something something pretty nutty here. That's all you can hope for. And it looks like we've got a kind of a medium sized pack here. Not a thin, I don't think it's too thin. So uh, get rid of the box fold out here. There we go. All right, here we go. Good luck everyone. Final pack, SP game used. Let's see what's hiding in this. So I think we go off the back here. Uh, but starting things off with the rookie orange. I uh, believe these are two there. Forget exactly what they're number two, but uh, number to 116 of Julian Gauthier for the Carolina Hurricanes. Gauthier for the Carolina Hurricanes. Next up, a regular base. I love the base. It's so beautiful this year. To 275 for the New Jersey Devils of P.K. Subban. Uh, we'll go two off the back here. Uh, next up, we have an All-Star Skills Fabrics for the Anaheim Ducks of John Gibson. All-Star Skills Fabric for the Anaheim Ducks of John Gibson. Next up, an Authentic Rookies Jersey, number two, 599 
for the Toronto Maple Leafs of Trevor Moore. Trevor Moore, number to 599. And then next up, oh, I think we might come back to that one. We'll come back to that one. We have a banner year for the 28 or 2019 All-Star Game for the Vegas Golden Knights of Marc-Andre Fleury. Nice one there for Mark. Nice flurry banner year. And, I mean, to finish things off, Arnold, you had the Devils and the Canucks. You had to wait to the end. I mean, normally you're hoping for a Hughes, one or the other, but to finish things off, numbered to five, a locker essentials patch of Elias Pedersen for the Vancouver Canucks. What a way to end it here. Nice patch of Pedersen right there. Love the look of those cards. Numbered one of only five. Great way to end things. Congrats, everyone. Uh, we have the one random to do here, but, oh, that's a big hit to end things off. Those last two boxes, just absolutely incredible. We'll get this one in a... Uh, in a sleeve and top loader right away. So there we go. And uh, it's probably a 180 on this because it's a patch. Get them in there. Uh, it actually might be a little bit thicker than a 180. I'll have to check that out after, but we'll get we'll get it in a top loader right away. What a way to end it. All right, so we got the one random to do here. Let me just go ahead and get set up for that. And I'll just show again, SP2 is my car here quickly while I can do that. There we go. All right, so that's there. Uh, get the knife out of the way. And then we finally have the one final random between Colorado and uh, the Oilers here for the canvas checklist. So again, just going things over here. Um, the, the SP2 again is Kale McCarr for the Avalanche. So again, that uh, SP2 is going to go to the Avalanche. Uh, but let's go to random.org here and uh, random this between the Avalanche and the Oilers three times. So as, as, all right, three times. Good luck. Once, twice, and thrice. Edmonton stayed on top the whole time. So the canvas checklist is going to the Edmonton Oilers. All right. So again, Thank you, everyone. That was an absolutely crazy value break. Uh, we've got the two breaks next week again. We've got one similar to this, uh, except it's got instead of artifacts and SP game used, it's got uh, Allure and uh, Trilogy. So again, same similar setup. Going to get a lot of young guns and you got some big hit potential there. And then finally, the big one, the new release on Saturday is going to be a full case of OPG Platinum, the new release. That looks absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I'll drop the links again here in chat. Um, but again, just absolute, absolute beautiful looking product. So again, there's the uh, there's the mixer with similar setup to this with uh, Trillo, G, and Allure. And then we've got the OPG Platinum case and then if you're watching on youtube the links will be in the description below but again everyone thank you for coming out uh as always take it easy and i'll catch you guys on yeah next time see ya